Uh, the last piece of information is the, some some um, a, a UFO guy named James Wildermuth. I never knew of the guy before. He's a European guy here. And uh, he sent me these images that he found on Google Earth. Um, normally, this would have been cleaned up, but somehow he found it. You tell me what it looks like. Anyway, he, uh, he used Google Earth to take a good hard look at this, and he found some lines uh, on the side of Papoose that looked like exactly what Lazar had been describing. He, puts the, he put the pins in there, but you can see the thin outline of these lines, nine of them, nine containers. Um, a friend of mine was an investigator for Congress, and he had, he had the highest security clearances. He thought that something was really going on at Area 51. I gave him a briefing, and he made them let him in. They flew him in a blinding snowstorm to S-4 in Papoose, but they took him to the other side of the facility. He got out and looked around. His name was Dick D'Amato. He worked for a, a senator who oversaw the budget and looked around out there, and he said this was five years after Bob Lazar's story came forward, and um, he said there was nothing there. But he didn't look in this side. And it sure looked like hangar doors to me, or at least some lines that indicated that something could be there. That's good. 